the jet squelcher might just become a problem in Splatoon 3. Hey, it's Poke. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at, yes, the jet squelcher. Now, I took a look at this weapon a few months ago to see if it was still a problem or not. With the recent 4.1 patch, I think we might actually see a rise in vanilla jet squelcher, but not only a rise, but a shift in the meta itself, which I didn't even think I'd, I'd be saying for a while, to be honest. I didn't even think I'd be saying this for like one of the two seasons or so. Uh, but if you don't know what's going on, basically come the 4.1 patch, two things regarding uh, Vanilla Jazz Culture got buck. One of which being Angle Shooter, because it now has a five point buff uh, to its damage, now it does 40 damage. And Ink Vac got a pretty major change as well, where the minimum amount of ink uh, for Ink Vac when supplied gives a 25% or 50% uh, boost to its overall explosion like this and that when it reaches the maximum like this the explosion gets a 25% boost which looks like that so overall pretty massive changes to both this kits of weapons or like uh, utilities it's absolutely insane if you didn't notice by the way this ink vac shot that's the size of one zone. But today what we're gonna go ahead and do is run Desk Vulture in some splat zones to see just how much of a problem this weapon is. All right, something I will admit is that I'm actually kind of happy that Jet Vulture is finally getting, you know, some buffs to the point where it's potentially meta now. I actually am happy about that. I know I sounded a little bit uh, kind of against that at the beginning, but truthfully, I am for it, you know, I, got, I feel like we've had this meta of, you know, machine and splash for a little too long, you know, it's, it's definitely overstayed its welcome. So uh, a meta shift, I feel like is just what the game needs to, you know, make things more interesting and to bring more weapon variety to the overall meta of the game. You know, like, I feel like it's actually a very good thing that Nintendo is doing uh, with these changes, because uh, I feel like just vanilla just culture never really performed that well due to ink back and angle shooter being very like mediocre utilities to be honest uh however with these changes i'm pretty sure you can like near you know insta kill someone with two angle shooters and one shot from vanilla just culture so like it's honestly very very strong now and ink fact with it with its buffs like it, it's insane honestly like just overall the jet culture's utility got such good changes it's like it's concerning how well it's doing now i'm just gonna focus on the game though and see how well i can do with this weapon if i can get a direct on someone damn it if i can get a direct on someone with angle shooter that would be great okay Oh, damn it. I didn't think Squiffer would be able to reach me. I probably should have played behind the balloon there. Okay, t tech get out of here. I'm going to play behind the balloon a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, nice. I, don't, I think it was an angle shooter kill, actually. Yeah, I think that was. Okay, nice. I'm going to push up a little bit. Throw that over there. Nice, and the kill. That is good. Good stuff. Whoa! Okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, no! God, I was just not in a good position there for my ink back. Okay. Okay, well, all we gotta do now is just take back a zone in the next at least 20 seconds. Which is gonna be a little hard. Push us back. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Good, good, good. Right, it's just Squiffer, you know, it's just Squiffer, and I think just like that, we have the zone under our control. Yep, there we go. Right, nice. There were a few moments in that game where I feel like my positioning with the Ink Fact could have been a little better. Uh, like, I think my last usage with Ink Fact there, I had gotten pinched pretty bad. It's so, like, I kind of had to go, like, back and forth between who I was aiming at. So that was a little interesting. That's right. So I, one thing I do want to point out, though, is that Ink Fact... Well, it did get its buffs to like its explosion radius. It didn't get any changes regarding, you know, how, like, well, like what it can consume in terms of ink back and other stuff. Like it's still, it's still the same things. You know, like it works the same way. It's just that the explosion has just been changed. So I feel like ink back is actually in a pretty healthy spot right now. While it is very strong, the special is very easily counterable. You know, like it's still counterable by like Splatanas, you know, like the, the weapon, despite its new strength, isn't absolutely broken. 
like how Booyah Bomb was in Splatoon 2. So like I actually am welcoming this change and honestly it this feels like a healthier Booyah Bomb or like Splashdown to be honest. So okay let's see what I can. So they have someone that can counter me. Uh, there's Stamper which is interesting so I need to keep an eye out for them whenever I use Ink Fact. That way they're not able to get like a benefit off of killing me. Come on feed me feed me feed me. I gotta be a little wary here where I position myself. Oh, right, right. Trizuka changed. I need to be wary of Trizuka. Oh, I say as I run directly into a Trizuka shot and the Stamper. These are great cooler placements, by the way. Those are very good cooler placements. Very nice. So I have to contest here with this Stamper, who is just being very, very annoying. Okay. I'm actually just gonna go back. There's really no point. There we go. Got them eventually. Wait, 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 wait. Ink Fact doesn't eat Trizuka shots? Or was it just not active in time? Wait, I thought it eats Trizuka shots. Okay, maybe it just wasn't active or like I wasn't pointing it at, at it. Oh my god, that's actually enough to break a Booyah Bomb shield. That's insane. What? That's more than enough to break a Booyah Bomb shield. I was not expecting that level of damage. Again, great cooler placements by, uh, I think our, that's our Dynamo, I think? Just very great placements. They really understand where to put cooler down. That's good. Okay, nice. Okay, we lost control here, but that's fine. Oh, no! Ink Fact just, I didn't deploy it fast enough. Damn it. Come on, feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Feed me. Okay, so it does ink shots. It does, it does eat shots. Interesting. Okay, nice. Nice. Stamper's behind. Oh, yeah. I was like, I'm not going to be able to solo kill them. Also, we were just one point away from them getting lead there. That's actually very close. I'm glad we pushed up when we did. Shoot that over to their side. Nice. And the kill. Good. Stamper's weak. Okay, nice. Okay. No! Oh no. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. It's so, it's winnable. It's very winnable. Or not. We're, we're kind of placing bad here, to be honest. Yeah, no. Damn it. We just kept, I mean, to be fair, I kept feeding. We couldn't get a good grasp on the map there last minute. Oh, that was a close game though. Very close game. Things able to show off ink back very well there. But that was rough. All right, last game. Let's see what I can do. Okay, they do have a weapon that can counter me. I mean, all the weapons can really just feed into me, though, to be honest. I think it's just a matter of where I choose to place myself and how aggressive I can be. Okay, so I need to place myself on the right side here to get more of a benefit, I feel like. So I can kind of oversee more, to be honest. Yeah, we need to find a way to take back the map here. A little hard when they have, like, three people that can just push up and be aggressive. And we have three backline. You know, like, we need someone who can be aggressive, and unfortunately, uh, I feel like our Dynamos are our best bet, which honestly is, like, the worst bet we can take. Okay, good. Stringer got killed from that. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. When they have two, just, not, not even two, three weapons that are able to be aggressive, there's literally nothing we can do when we have three backlines and a dynamo like this is, <laughs> sorry to say but like man there's just nothing we can do i mean does dynamo fall into the backline category though does it really if it does then man there's a full backline team against <laughs> one backline and like three uh, aggressive weapons like that that was rough okay all right one last game here to see whether or not <laughs> i can get a good grasp of ink back uh, not ink facts. I keep like saying ink back because in my mind I'm focused on showing off the special. But you know, just overall, this video is just in general about uh, Jess Vultures. So my apologies for for keep saying that. Okay, that wow, that's a direct. Another direct. I killed them with an angle shooter. Well, that's that's something. I guess that. Is, oh my god, I'm actually gonna be a little aggressive here. Put that over there. Yeah, <laughs> just uh just to mess with them, you know. Okay, there we go. No, 
No, I had, I almost had it fully charged. I don't think I've had a single time over the course of this video where I've had ink back charge completely. Okay, they're weak. Were. Okay. Whoa, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I just, I wasn't expecting three of them to come up there. I, I, oh my god. It doesn't seem a little cool there, but it's fine. Okay, nice. And zone is ours, as long as we can get these guys. No, dude, the swig, the swig. Oh, you're kidding me. Right, there we go, there we go. Just needed a few more shots, but oh my God. That was a rough game though, my God. All right, well, I feel like that was a pretty good showcase of the ink pack, to be honest. Um, Were all my games great? No, not really, because honestly, I feel like while the buffs to this weapon were very good, even if they were indirect, the weapon still does strive off of having a good team composition, you know, like as we saw um, from you know, past games where we had three, I would say to four backline weapons, the weapon benefits from being like one of the only backlines you're going to have available to you alongside like maybe three to two other weapons that are just able to be very aggressive because if your team is being pushed the entire time, Jess Quilter is not really going to have a too good of a time with it, you know, especially with a kit it has, you know, since Inkvac does take time to charge. I don't know, I feel like the weapon, it, it's certainly good. It's certainly good. I feel like it's a little better now than its custom counterpart and I can see it being meta. Uh, uh, of course, this is day one after the patch. You know, I'm recording this day one after the patch. So there's not really too many interesting compositions being made surrounding Vanilla Just Culture right now. Like, I feel like, it, you know, if the community just keeps an eye on just Just Culture in general and keep it in mind when you're creating team compositions, I think we actually could see a very interesting change in the meta that shifts towards using this weapon and maybe not only this weapon, but shift toward using ink fact in general. But for now, I hope you guys did enjoy. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, do all that fun, generic YouTuber stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Kiddo.